what's the word y'all it's your boy jay sites and i'm back today look man y'all see this right here i'm gonna show y'all how to do this man you don't need to do any tracking you don't need to do any of that you need to still clip on like a tripod you know what i'm saying or if your clip is moving you could track it and you could move those points over to blender but you know i could show you how to do that in the future let me just show you how to get this video into an iphone so you want to have this as a png sequence so you could bring this into blender when you render it you want to export add to render queue format png sequence resize it make it 1920 by 1080 you don't really need <laughs> that big of size this is going to be strictly for lighting and stuff like that and put your depth to trillions of colors i already have this so i'm not going to do that i made this tutorial already but my pc ended up crashing so i had to stop it moving forward make sure for this effect you have like an iphone you can get an iPhone from Sketchfab or I recommend you get a Blender Kit subscription because you could get a lot of stuff, different variations and stuff like that. Especially if you're new to 3D, you can just easily kit bash and make good scenes strictly with what you have. So moving forward, when you're in Blender, you change your render engine from EV to Cycles. You know, I like to go for realism. GPU. Um, these are some quick settings. You don't have to put these, but I do this to optimize the project. But when you do come down here, you want to make sure you have your motion blur on. On film, you want to turn on transparent. And for the uh, color management, if you're in Blender 4.1, you can use AGX and go with a uh, high contrast. Or if you're in like Blender 3.4 or anything older, you could just use Filmic Log and you could just color your stuff uh, in post. If you want to see a video on coloring your objects from Blender and your EXR files, and After Effects, I have a video on that. You can just hit the link in the description. Anyway, I put this to high contrast and I don't really touch anything until I'm done with all my. You can turn off tiling as well because this just takes up a bunch of space. Save your project file. Save it somewhere you need it, right? I'm gonna use this. As you can see, I already got it saved, but I'm gonna call it X2. And the reason why you wanna save it in a specific folder is because I'm gonna show you guys where you can have your textures. First of all, let's get us an object. I'm just gonna search for an iPhone. I'm gonna use this 15. Now you have your iPhone. This right here is an empty. This enables you to move your object around. If you just click it and you press G, you could do it like that, or you could move it in the X, Y, the Z axis. I'm just gonna hit G, R, and X, 90. And you could just type 90 on your keyboard after pressing X. You know what I'm saying? Just press enter. And you could like that. Same thing for a camera. I could press one on my numpad. I can shift A, add a camera, and then I can hit zero on my numpad, G, Y, boom. I usually like to match the uh, vocal length of my footage. Shot this video in 24 FPS, so just to be safe, I'm going to come here, add a background image, and make sure my camera was highlighted. And then I checked background images and I found this image sequence. And you see how I chose every last one of my uh, images. The, my footage determines how long my project is. So I could just, you know, change my end from 250 frames to 27. Now I just bring the opacity up and I can see it a little better. We're moving forward. So if you want to get your image into the phone uh come here to the shader tab and now you see the iphone before we do that i'm gonna show you guys how to get a nice reflection of the actual video shift a mesh spear you see the spear is already bigger than my object so i'm gonna just probably scale it down just a little bit just to where it's just a little bit bigger than the phone and then i'm going to keep this highlighted come to my shader tab change this back to object and i'm gonna hit new i'm gonna hit Control t right and if this doesn't work for you you have to go to edit preferences and you have to enable node wrangler and you should be good so after you do that you want to add the image sequence that you had you bring it here hdri and then you hit auto refresh you take your color right and you drag this into the emission and you change this to one if you want to get rid of this circle, right, you just hit this, just the visibility with the spear highlighted and down here, ray visibility, and you just uncheck him. So now you got a good reflection, all of the colors from the video. And also when you play it, it flashes as well. Yeah. So now how you get this video into the thing, right? I already have a rendered version, but 
for the tutorial i'm gonna just show you guys how to do it one more time just for the simple fact that i messed up so this object highlighted right this is the screen you want to come into here and you want to unpack this and when you unpack it it's going to go into a folder called textures see i already have it here and i also have a new one but i'm, I'm going to make another one just for you i'm back into after effects you go to file import and you get the phone screen and you make a new comp from the selection when you make a new comp from the selection you want to grab your footage see it paste it and you want to set your in and out and on the keyboard and now let's scale down your footage just a little bit look yum yum buddy up until you feel comfortable feel me if you could do that and then i have this little overlay that i got from youtube it's a little green screen of a TikTok screen you scale this down and add a key light boom you can add another filter if you want to you know what i'm saying but what i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna re-render you could hit control m once you have everything situated and come into here you go to png sequence trains of colors do not change the size render rgb plus alpha and press ok now you want to make your own folder as you can see i already got one feel me once you save it you want to come back to blender hit your folder go to your phone screen hit a open image auto refresh and you are done want to know how to render this so what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna just do a quick simple zoom and i'm gonna render this so now with your camera selected you want to hit i on your keyboard all right and come to your very last keyframe and hit g and y to zoom in to the phone hit i again and then real quick before you do anything else i want both of your keyframes selected you could come up here to the little tab hit the graph editor and just hit normalize you'll be able to see it and if you just if you click and drag over just one of your points you go press g and you'll be able to move it around like this same for this you could do like g and x g and z but that's stupid just press g and move it back save that to get rid of this image just come up here come back here with your camera highlighted and you just turn off background images and now we can render it so for the render settings for the sake of the tutorial we're going to use png so now you can just make a folder called done and i'm going to name this right i'm going to keep this like this bring down the compression i don't like compression at all render region and let me just do one thing to the phone if you want the phone to pop up let's say uh your object doesn't have an empty you can always make one by hitting shift a when you make that empty you uh you can scale it up or down in my case it's down and now you can honestly highlight everything besides the camera and the sphere you can hit Control p object keep transform as you can see i changed the parent you feel what i'm saying so you know you don't really have to worry if you don't have one you feel me but just delete that definitely could do things like scale this up Change this to zero, 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 I, boom. And if I want, I could come here and then maybe in the middle and insert a single keyframe on the X position. I could shoot this out the frame. Let me fix those keyframes up, feel me? And now you could just render. And easiest way to render, since we already have uh, all of our stuff set up. Whoa, let me change this to 56. Well, I like to do 256, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're just gonna do uh, 50 frames, I mean 50 samples, that's not bad. And to save it one time and hit Control F12. All right, that render is done. So now that you're back at After Effects, we should show you how to get a low vibe with this, right? If you hit file, import, all right, you go to done, and you just import your phone. Like I said, I didn't track it, so you're not gonna get the most out of this, but before you drag this in, you wanna interpret the footage and hit me. It changes to 24 FPS and just hit OK. It should be the same exact duration as your timeline. And all you gotta do is right click, transform, hit the comp, and just pre compose that clip. Name it phone, move all attributes, and you're good. Simple, easy effect. Uh, if you wanna source this up real quick, you could do all sorts of shit like. Uh, you can add an adjustment layer, just give it a fast box blur. Any type of blur is good to be honest. Up the radius on that, maybe a hot spots, low, and yeah. 
But that's all I really had to show y'all today, bro. If y'all enjoyed this, man, drop a like, comment, and yeah. I'm out of here, y'all. See y'all later.